So after taking thousands of photos, how do you cull through all those images? Let's find out. What is good YouTube? It's that one camera guy back at it again with another video for you. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I cull through thousands of images and show you a free option that you can use to make that happen. Now some assumptions I'm going to make is that you're using Lightroom already. Lightroom is kind of your main program software suite that you're going to be using for this entire process. You're going to be using a third party application to kind of cull and select the photos that you want. And after we select them, we're going to import the photos that we originally selected. And that's pretty much going to be it. The goal is to take thousands of photos that you've taken and break them down into, you know, triple digit numbers at the end of it. So I've shot, I don't know, I could shoot several thousand photos, 3000 photos, and maybe come out with maybe two or 300 images that I really liked out of that batch, or it could be a little bit more. At least at that point, it will be easier for Lightroom to digest. Now here's the thing. Most of you who work with Lightroom know that Lightroom is slow. It doesn't, even if you have a very powerful computer, fast SSDs, you'll still see some slowdown with Lightroom and you want to break down and reduce the amount of photos that you have to ingest at any given time. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing is take some photos with your camera. So go out and go out there and go shoot. Number two, go ahead and start the transfer process of your files. Now the way I do this is when I pop this in, into my computer, um, obviously I have a set folder location that I'm going to use, but let me go ahead and jump to my tutorial window here. So the recover, the, um, disc shows up. I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. Obviously I have a particular folder that I typically put these in and these were Nikon D500 images. Now, obviously I'm talking about the A9, but the point is still the same. And, uh, I shot some soccer with the D500 cause I'm working on a review for that. And so I've got that. I got my folder here and uh, DCIM and I already got some a folder in here. I'm not going to transfer all of these, maybe about half of them. So that's about 300, almost 400 images. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer them over. Now what I do is I don't, I don't ingest into a folder directly. I always, I'm always in the mindset of I'm just going to transfer the files to a folder because it's faster for my workflow. Some people's workflows are a little bit different. Now, as far as photo mechanics concerned, that is kind of the pro line uh, tool that many sports photographers will end up using because you have really cool ingestion settings. You can set metadata, you can track things, um, and it makes it very powerful. All I'm looking for and all I personally need is something to see images quickly and then just tag them and mark them as a star and then organize them in such a way that I can cull through the images quickly. That's all I really need it for. Now, if you need something with powerful tools like photo mechanic, you're going to want to take a look at that software suite. All right. Well, that's loading. The software website that you can use to download this is xnview.com. I'll go ahead and post the link in the description below so you can go ahead and find this particular software that you want and uh, just go into what you need and go ahead and download it. So uh, again, it is free for individual use. You have a Windows, Mac, and Linux options for those that have those different types of operating systems, which is really nice of them to provide. All right, the transfer process is complete. Let me go ahead and close this out over here. So I have my images on my desktop already. What I'm going to go ahead and do is open up xnview.mp and get that loaded. All right, so this interface is pretty simple. It's not complicated at all. You're going to have several window options here. So if you take a look, uh, this is your kind of your window structure where you can kind of navigate through your operating, your files actually. And I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my desktop because I placed it there and I went to Nikon D500 Soccer. I'm going to click on that. When you click on Nikon D500 Soccer, you're going to go ahead and, and see the images populate in your actual software program. You can actually modify the size of the thumbnails over here. You can go ahead and stretch that window out. And you have some options here under the tools section. I think people have advised this. Go to tools, settings, and then under the option for thumbnail, go ahead and I think create original image if the embedded is smaller, create high quality. This is the settings that I have on mine uh, to ensure I get a decent thumbnail preview. And I just go ahead and click OK. All right, once you have this all figured out, what I do from here is I just go ahead and look at the images and I do, I think, control one and control, I hold control and press one. I'm not sure on the Mac what the actual keys are, but I'm just going through the images and I'm just kind of thumbing through. If I see an image I kind of like, I do control one and that will star the image. And as you can see, each time I'm clicking, I'm actually 
selecting the images that I like. And uh, so far, so good. Good job, Nikon D500. I gotta give them that. So again, um, this this method will apply for everything. You could have thousands of images in here. Um, I'm just I just shortened it down to about 400 to keep this process simple. And obviously, I'm not taking a huge amount of time culling through it. I'm just kind of thumbing through, just saying, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, this guy got a header there. All right, cool. Uh, I'll select that one too. All right, so I went ahead and finished culling through the images and that was it. It wasn't really complicated at all. And if you, you're gonna get pretty good at it over time and you can kind of select quickly what images are good and what images are not. Now here's the thing, unfortunately xmv.mp, from what I understand, will not apply the star rating to the metadata with a raw file. I think it might work with JPEGs, but you gotta go ahead and try that out. But here's what I do. So I'm gonna go back to the left-hand side here where the file structure is. I'm gonna go ahead and click on desktop I'm gonna right click, new folder, Nikon D500 selected, okay? So now I have a folder called selected. What I'm gonna do now is filter out all the photos I gave a single star to. So I'm gonna go to view, let me zoom in here, view, filter by, and then choose one star. That was the poor rating, unfortunately. Um, and I've already selected all these images with a star on it. What I'll do is I'll press Control A to select all of them. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and click and drag it to my Nikon D500 selected folder. Click and drag it over, and it'll go ahead and start moving all those files. And I did it pretty quick. I'll click on that. And now these are all the selected images. So now what I'll do is go ahead and open up Lightroom. And the goal at this point is to just only bring in the ones I starred. From that point on, I can go ahead and organize those and even um, you know give it better ratings, two, three, four stars based on that situation. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly see this. You see, notice how, let's see here. Look how long Lightroom's taking. But yeah, I'm a, I have a program running right now. So I'm gonna go to File, Import Photos and Video, navigate to my desktop here. Nikon D500 selected. There are my images there. You can go ahead and set uh, import settings if you want. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click import. And there you go, I, I have all the images that I selected already. Um, what I had like, what, 69 images out of the, the 400 that I had. And now I can go ahead and kind of dive deeper into these images, make some slight edits, and finish off all of my processing. And that's it. So what I could do now is I could technically control A, select all of these, press, um, one to set a rating to one star on all these images because they were my first choice and then start going through them and give them a successive star two three four stars depending on how much I like that image or if I think the image is really good so folks that's it that's the free software program X in view I believe is the name and it's uh, a cheap alternative to photo mechanic so you don't have to spend hundred and fifty dollars if you just want to cull and select through your images folks if you found this video helpful Give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. And if you want to see any more videos, go ahead and click on the screen somewhere and subscribe. And with that said, I'm your host, Elwin Camera Guy, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.